A warm welcome to you to this, our service on the first Sunday after Trinity. You'll find the notices in the weekly news sheet. Now, let us prepare ourselves for worship as we sing together. Time to worship. Come, now is the time to give your heart. Come, just as you are to worship. Come, just as you are before. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace and peace be with you. And keep you in the love of Christ. Father, Father of, of glory, glory holy, holy and, and eternal, eternal. Look, look upon, upon us now with power and, and mercy. May your strength overcome our weakness, weakness. Your, your radiance transform our blindness, and, blindness. and, and your, your spirit draw us to that love. love shown and offered to us by your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. As we prepare to meet our Lord in word and sacrament, let us call to mind and confess our sins. Heavenly Father, Father we, we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and have failed to do what we ought to have done. 
we, we are sorry, sorry and, and truly repent. repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past and lead us in his way to walk as children of light. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on you and set you free from sin, strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory, Glory to, to God, God in, in the, the highest, highest and, and peace, peace to his people, people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly, Heavenly King, King, Almighty God and, and Father, we, we worship you, we give, give you thanks, we praise, praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. God, the strength of all those who put their trust in you, mercifully accept our prayers and, because through the weakness of our mortal nature, we can do no good thing without you, grant us the help of your grace, that in the keeping of your commandments, we may please you both in will and deed. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The man and the woman heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God amongst the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man and said to him, Where are you? He said, I heard the sound of you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked and I hid myself. He said, Who told you you were naked? You must have eaten from the tree of which I commanded you not to eat. The man said, the woman who, gave, who you gave to me, sorry, the man said, the woman who you gave to be with me, she gave me fruit from the tree and I ate. Then the Lord God said to the woman, what is this that you have done? The woman said, the serpent tricked me and I ate. The Lord God said to the serpent, because you have done this, Cursed are you among all animals and among all wild creatures. Upon your belly you will go, and dust you shall eat all the days of your life. I shall put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and hers. And he will strike your head, and you will strike his heel. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to, to God. God. Psalm 130, and the response is, With the Lord there is mercy and plenteous redemption. With the Lord there, there is, is mercy, mercy and, and plenteous, plenteous redemption. redemption. Out of the depths have I called to you, O Lord. Hear my voice. Let your ears consider well the voice of my supplication. If you, Lord, were to note what is done amiss, O Lord, who could stand? for there is forgiveness with you, therefore you shall be feared. With, with the Lord, Lord there is mercy, mercy and, and plenteous redemption. redemption. I wait for the Lord, 
My soul waits for him, and in his word is my hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than the night watch for the morning, more than the night watch for the morning. With, With the, the Lord, Lord there is mercy and, and plenteous redemption. redemption. O Israel, wait for the Lord, and, and with the Lord there is mercy. With him there is plenteous redemption, and he shall redeem Israel from all their sins. With, with the, the Lord, Lord there is mercy and plenteous redemption. redemption. The second reading is a reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. Just as we have the same spirit of faith that is in accordance with the scripture, I believe and so I spoke. We also believe and so we speak because we know that the one who raised the Lord Jesus will raise us also with Jesus and will bring us with you into his presence. Yet everything is for your sake so that grace, as it extends to more and more people, may increase thanksgiving to the, Almighty, to the glory of God. So we do not lose heart, even though our outer nature is wasting away, our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for the eternal weight of the glory beyond all measure, because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. And for what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Alleluia, alleluia. If anyone loves me, they will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we shall come to them. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory be to you, O Lord. The crowd came together again, so that Jesus and his companions could not even eat. When his family heard it, they went out to restrain him, for people were saying, he has gone out of his mind. And the scribes who came down from Jerusalem said, he has Beelzebul, and by the ruler of the demons, he casts out demons. And he called them to him and spoke to them in parables. How can Satan cast out Satan? If a kingdom is divided against itself, that kingdom cannot stand. If a house is divided against itself, that house will not be able to stand. And if Satan has risen up against himself and is divided, he cannot stand, but his end has come. But no one can enter a strong man's house and plunder his property without first tying up the strong man. Then indeed the house can be plundered. Truly I tell you, people will be forgiven for their sins and whatever blasphemies they utter. But whoever blasphemes against the Holy Spirit can never have forgiveness, but is guilty of an eternal sin. For they had said, he has an unclean spirit. Then his mother and his brothers came and standing outside, they sent to him and called him. A crowd was sitting around him and they said to him, your mother and your brothers and sisters are outside asking for you. And he replied, who are my mother and my brothers? And looking at those who sat around him, he said, here are my mother and my brothers. Whoever does the will of God is my brother and sister and mother. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ.
We pray in the Lord's Prayer, forgive us our sins. But what does this mean? We need to understand sin if we want to grasp it. Sin is not some sort of exciting naughtiness. Instead, it is, in Rowan Williams' words, just the condition of being seriously wrong about reality and living against the grain. It's rather like believing that trains can be powered by black coffee and continuing to try this despite all the evidence to the contrary. So, in the long run, sin is never going to be satisfying. It's going to be incredibly frustrating. Our passage from Genesis is a good illustration of this. It's part of the wider passage that runs from near the beginning of chapter 2, verse 4, the second half, right the way through to the end of chapter 3. And it tells of Adam and then Eve's creation by God. They are created in Eden, this great paradisical garden. And God gives them one simple command. Don't eat the fruit from the tree. But then we hear of their disobedience. They eat the forbidden fruit. Now God comes and there's the opportunity for them to admit what has happened. But they don't. First, they hide. Then Eve blames a talking snake. And then Adam blames Eve, unable, unable even to take responsibility for his own actions in eating. Yes, they realise their shameful nakedness. That's why they're hiding in the bushes. But they can't yet admit their folly. In his mercy, we see God as seamstress, making them some clothes out of skins. But then their punishment is to be cast out of Eden. They can't yet own their own sin. The story says, this is the human condition which seeks its own way to make its own desires and not God's desires. And these are the consequences for living in this way. Thanks be to God, though, that it doesn't need to be this way. When we admit that something is wrong with the way that we live, when we recognise that our life doesn't match up to the reality of God that we know, then we realise that we are sinners. Recognising that we are sinners means we've become uncommitted to our sin. We stop lying, at least in part, to ourselves. We realise that a gulf between the life that we're living and the life that God invites us to live with him. We recognise that that relationship is broken. And so, recognising that brokenness, there is the possibility for us to desire change, even transformation. It should be no surprise that the very first words of Jesus in St Mark's Gospel are, repent. Jesus is inviting us not just to recognise our own sin, but to turn to God, to make the choice, to be not just uncommitted, but to find a new way of life with God. We can't take away our own sin, our own damage to our relationship with God or others. But thanks to what Jesus has done for us through the cross and through his resurrection, God has already opened the door to our forgiveness. When we repent, that is when we desire to live a new way, not the way of our sins, and seek God's way, then we are welcomed towards fullness of life now and eternal paradise in heaven in the age to come. If you like, we're invited back into Eden. Now, it would be great if we could leave our sin behind once and for all, but we can't. We're human, and it's all too easy for us to try and displace God 
and seek our own ways once again. But being a good sinner means being a leaky person, being a person who's constantly trying to open themselves to God so that the Spirit can needle us, can needle our conscience as to where it needs to be needled so that we can be caused to think once again of our relationship with God, that we can turn from our sin and repent. For as Christians, we know that God is with us, calling us, inviting us into his better way, teaching us by lessons of humility to be the creatures that God created us to be. That way, we not only grow in commitment, but also in love for God. So rejoice, we are sinners. And acknowledging that we are sinners is the first step to God's turning us into saints. All saints are sinners, but all sinners can be saved through God's grace. Amen. Let us come to affirm our faith in God together. We, we believe, believe in, in one God, God the, the Father, the Almighty, maker of, of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, True God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped, is worshipped and, and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. in the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ. Let us pray to the Father. For the Church of God, proclaiming a message of repentance and forgiveness from sin, that it may share hope of fullness of life now and in the age to come. We pray particularly for our ministry and mission in this benefice and in our ministry area and for the part each of us is called to play within this. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who have been chosen to elect our next bishop, for wisdom in discerning the right person and coming to a common mind, that the call of the Holy Spirit may be heard more clearly than the politics of the church. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who live in hunger, especially those trying to survive below the poverty line, that those with enough may feel their hearts burn with compassion for all in need. We pray especially at this time 
for those locked down in India without resource or support, that they may not be forgotten. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who feel lost, unwanted or unforgivable, that they may come to experience the love of Christ through his people and discover hope through faith in Jesus. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For the sick or ill, whether in mind, body or spirit, that they may know God's presence and peace with them, and if it be his will, his healing. We pray here by name for Chris, Mike, Alison, Danny, Alex, Sue, Gladys, Graham, Anne, Father David and Peter. And in a moment of silence, we pray for those known to us. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. For those who have died, that they may experience God's gracious mercy and judgment and be received into heaven. Among those who have died recently, we pray for Jean Hughes and Peter Edwards. And we hold before the Lord all those whose year's mind or anniversary of death falls at this time. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. And we join these and all our prayers together with God's church on earth and the saints in heaven as we pray. Merciful, Merciful Father, Father, accept these, these prayers, prayers for, for the, the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Christ is our peace. He has reconciled us to God in one body by his cross. We meet in his name and share in his peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us offer one another a sign of God's peace. Peace be with you.
We celebrate together the gifts and grace of God. We, we take, take this bread, we take, take this wine to follow Christ's example and obey his command. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right. It is our duty and our joy, at all times and in all places, to give you thanks and praise, Holy Father, Heavenly King, Almighty Everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, your only Son, our Lord. He is your eternal Word. Through him you created the universe and formed us men and women in your own image. You sent him to be our Saviour, born of Mary through the power of the Spirit. Upon the cross he opened wide his arms of mercy, embracing us in perfect love, destroying the power of evil, suffering and death. On the first day of the week you raised him from the dead and opened to us the gate of everlasting life. Through him you have given us your holy and life-giving Spirit and made us your own sons and daughters. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of, of power, power and, and might, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in, in the, the highest. highest. Hear us, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Through him, accept our sacrifice of praise and grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be for us his body and his blood. Who? in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink from this, all of you, for this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. died. Christ, Christ is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come in glory. Therefore, Father, remembering the saving death and resurrection of your Son, we offer to you in thanksgiving this bread and this cup, your gifts to us. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send your Holy Spirit upon all of us, who share this bread and this cup. Strengthen our faith, make us one, and welcome us, together with all your people, into the glorious kingdom of your Son. 
through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honour and glory are yours, almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. As our Saviour Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray. Our Father, our Father in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, the power and, and the glory, glory are yours, now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, for we all share in the one bread. Lamb of, of God. God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Jesus is the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. Let us now make our intention to receive Christ spiritually clear as we so, pray together. Soul, soul of, Christ, of Christ, sanctify, sanctify me. me. Body, Body of Christ, Christ save me. me. Blood, Blood of Christ, Christ refresh me. me. Water from, from the side of Christ, Christ wash me. Passion, passion of Christ, Christ strengthen me. me. O oh, good, good Jesus, Jesus, hear me. me. Within, within your wounds, hide me. me. Let, Let me never be separated from you. From, from the power of darkness, defend me. In, in the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you, that, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal Father, we thank you for nourishing us with these heavenly gifts. May our communion strengthen us in faith, build us up in hope, and help us to grow in love for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is gracious. His love is everlasting. Generous, Generous God. God. You have fed us at your heavenly table. Kindle us with the fire of your spirit, that when the Lord comes again, we may shine as lights before him, who is alive and reigns in glory forever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Lord bless you and keep watch over you. The Lord's face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look lovingly upon you and give you his peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>